<clears throat> Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Maximiliano. How are you? I'm fine. Excellent. Good. Thank you for your punctuality, as always. Okay. Thank you very much for being here on time. El Jose Araujo, too. We have Jose Araujo. Welcome to the class, Jose. Thank you as well for your punctuality. Good evening, teacher. For the moment, I'll be oyente. Anda por la calle. Ya me va a conectar bien. Okay, okay, perfect. Thank you. And we also have Marvin. Marvin, welcome to the class. How are you today? Hi, Marvin. Hi, teacher. <clears throat> How are you? Good. Okay, I'm going to send a message to your classmates to remind them that we are in the class. Hello, everyone. We are in the class, right? We're in the class, ready and waiting for you. Excellent. Okay, so we're gonna continue today with the section number four. That's just the thing we have to do today, right? And yesterday we were like reviewing a little bit about the, that there is and there are, and Countables and uncountables, right? So we're gonna right. uh we're gonna continue a little bit about that today, and also we're gonna do some other reviews. If we have time, I'm not promising anything, but if we have time, we're gonna play Kahoot, okay? Because I know you like to play Kahoot. Okay, let me see. Ooh. Where where are we? So yesterday, um, oh, I don't know, we have been talking about there is and there are, right? So in some and any, countables and uncountables. So today I have a picture for you so we can use um, the picture to make sentences, okay? That's what I will need the picture for so we can make sentences about this, about uh, there is and there are, describing what we can see. Right, what is the most important? So we can describe what we are seeing in the picture. But let me show you have an example. Uh, wait a minute. Um, sorry, <laughs> allergies. So I'm gonna show you the picture. Okay, here. Can you see the picture? Wait, wait, uh, wait. Can you see the picture? Yes. Okay, perfect. Hello. So in the picture, we see different things, right? And yesterday we were practicing a little bit about how, how to talk about people, right? The square and describe the people here. So in this picture that you see here, we have different people and different things going on, right? So what I will see, for example, there is a man or there is a black hair man, right? Un hombre con el pelo negro. There is a blonde woman. There is a curly girl, right? Or the girl, uh, there is a bald baby <laughs> because babies are bald. There is a bald baby. So you can see in this picture, I can describe the characteristics on a person, or I can mention the different things that I can see. For example, there is a clock next to the flower base, or there is a radio on the piano, right? That you can see that. Now, um, you can use prepositions of this as well, because here right now, you can see this little thing right here. That is called an outlet. Well, it's a, yeah, we have an outlet and we have the switch. The switch is where you can turn on and turn off the light, right? And an outlet is where you can connect to the electricity, right? So you can see there is an outlet on the wall. It's not in the wall, it's on the wall, right? Now, um, here, eso ya me ha pasado con estudiantes de antes, así que no quiero que les pase a ustedes también. So I'm going to tell you. 
Esto que está aquí arriba en español es cierto que le dicen vejigas en El Salvador, right? We call them vejigas. But in English, eh, ellos son globos, right? Vale. En español en inglés son balloons. Oh. Les digo porque una clase, una muchacha que tuve, dijo bladders. There are three bladders over the boy. Como hay tres vejigas sobre el niño. Pero bladders son vejigas el órgano. El órgano que usted tiene dentro que se llama vejiga, ¿verdad? Así que no le vamos a llamar bladder. Be careful. Google Translate can be very dangerous. So be careful with that. So these are three balloons. And because we know how to use adjectives, we can also say there is a yellow, green, and there are yellow, green, and red balloons above the kid, right? And I can say those things because describing the things. There is an all piano because I'm using the adjective. So what I want you to do is write sentences, but using the adjectives. Let's make some examples. There is a blonde woman. There is a cake in the blonde woman woman's hands, right? Digo, hay una mujer rubia y hay un pastel en las manos de la mujer rubia, ¿verdad? So I'm using different adjectives. So as you can see in this case, I'm using one adjective to describe the woman. And here as well, I'm using another adjective, but these cakes, I'm mentioning that there is a woman. Here is the woman. But now in here, I'm talking about the cake. I'm not talking about the cake. Pero si quiero agregarle más adjetivos, there is a, I don't know, delicious, there is a delicious cake in the, in the blonde woman's hands, right? I'm adding even more adjectives. So what are we doing right now? We are describing what we can see in the picture using there is and there are, but also using adjectives. For example, here we have another one. Look at the baby. So I can say, there is a crying. Crying is going to be my adjective, okay? Va a ser mi adjetivo. Crying is my adjective. There is a crying baby. Hay un bebé llorón, right? There is a crying baby. And then I can use another one and say, there is a barking dog next to the crying baby. Hay un Pedro ladrador, Pedro, <laughs> sorry, se me lengua la traba. Hay un perro ladrador a la par del bebé llorón. You see? So I'm using two um, different uh, things versus the baby. So the nouns, there is a crying baby and the other one is there is a barking dog next to the crying baby, okay? So again, This is, these are just examples that we can use. Also, with the examples, we can use the colors, right? To describe. Para describir, puedo usar colores también. So, for example, let's see. Let's pick one. There is a blue table, right? Hay una mesa azul. And I can say, there is a purple phone on the blue table. You see? I can say as well, miren acá este. Hay un piano. And I can say there is a, an old, porque es, right? No, there is an old piano. Y puedo decir que hay una radio en el piano. There is a radio on the old piano. So you see, we're using a lot of adjectives to describe different things. So these are just examples about the activity you're going to do in this moment. So I was explaining. So you can go and do the sentences, make the sentences. Is the activity clear for you guys? Yes. 
Yes. Again, I explain one more time. We are going to use this picture as a reference to make sentences with there is and there are, but we're gonna use adjectives, okay? We're gonna use adjectives to describe the things we see in the picture. For example, I can say, there is a red car next to the parking dog. Or I can say, there is a red car and a crying baby between the parking dog. Okay, between there is a, um, I don't know, there is a beautiful gift on top of the pizzas. I can use a lot of adjectives to describe all the things that I'm looking at right now. Okay? Clear? Clear. Okay. Okay, if it is clear, let me send you the picture so we can describe what we are looking at. Remember, we have been uh, studying the reasons that are, and we also have been describing, um, yeah, I mean, we are also uh, been talking about adjectives and how you can use them, okay? Now, remember, you guys, eh, recuérdense, vamos a hacer la mayor parte de oraciones que podamos, as much as we can. Podemos irnos a un Google Doc and even do the things there y hacerlo ahí, okay, in the Google Doc. Or Microsoft, I don't know, Word, a Word doc. Let me show you. Y las voy a llegar a revisar para ver cuáles oraciones están correctas. So I'm going to check the sentences, okay? Ready? Yeah? Yeah. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, Change it here, here, here. Okay, let's go. As, as much sentences as we can. Hello, Jose. Welcome. ¿Ya llego a la casa? ¿You home? No, todavía no. Sigue de oyente. Ok, lo voy a mandar a una sala para que esté oyente, ok?
Hello, Juan Carlos. Hi, teacher. Welcome to the class. Thank you. So your classmates are using this picture to make sentences with their is and there are in adjectives, okay? I'm going to send you to a breakout room so you can practice with them, okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. Regalo sería como give, give. Yes. Y ese es, there is a dog. Ver, ese es pizza, la que está abajo. Sería como, there is a gift on the pizza. Pero vamos a ocupar adjetivo. Vamos a ocupar adjetivo. Por ejemplo. There is. There. There is a car. Como el ejemplo que ella nos dio que decía there is a cry baby, crying baby. Yes. Oh, there is a blue table. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. There is a there are, ¿verdad? No, mira, no, ahora tengo que escribirla sobre. Under es abajo. Sería. Vaya, en esa oración que voy a dice: There are a color gloves. Eh, a es singular y me lo están poniendo con un plural que es gloves. Luego, color no se pluraliza porque es un adjetivo. Entonces, sería, there are color gloves in the room. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Teacher. Mm -hmm. I have a question. Mm -hmm. And what is I I I'm, I'm searching for repisa. I don't know shelf. if shelf shelf. Ah, yeah. okay. I was only only checking if Google is 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 good. It's correct. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There is a clock on the there is a blue clock.
ahí, ahí mandé una para que la pueda se la puedo ver visibles ahí a los demás porque no me no, no se puede mandar como there is a radio on the no. whole piano ajá vale, eso para que los demás lo puedan ver también creo que tengo otra Right. Entonces sería There is a white boy on the table. La otra. There is a ugly picture on the wall. Glasses, glasses, glasses. Stylish glasses. Another one. There is a I mean, what? What? That do it, do it, do it. <laughs> Man, there is a pink box maybe on the floor. Pink box who is in oh. front of the blonde child. Yes, yes. Uh, maybe it is a blow a uh, box. I believe a that box. is a dice, not a box. Uh oh. It's a dice. Do you know what is a dice? Uh, I, I see some kind of hole <laughs> over the over over the box, maybe. No, but do you see like in front of the blonde child? Ah, the, yes, yes. The uh, box you say, but I think it is uh, the one with the number one, la que tiene el número uno escrito. Yes. It is a dice. Es un dado. Dice. Da, uh, D I yeah. C E. -E. Mm, dice. A pink dice.
hello, algo muy importante, no estoy en las salas, pero quiero que escuchen. Algo muy importante que deben recordar yeah. es que no se dice a cuando va una vocal, ¿verdad? Ni se dice eh, en cuando va una consonante. Por ejemplo, no pueden decir a, a ol piano. Tiene que ser en ol piano, right? Recuerden eso porque siento que con a y en estamos teniendo problemas. Igual a solo se utiliza con eh, singulars, no con plurals. Para los plurals pueden utilizar um, some o numbers. Yeah. Oh. I know colorful. I don't know if many. There is many colorful candles on the delicious cake. Candles. Many or there are many. What? Sería so, yeah, there is many or there are many. There are. Uh -huh. Colorful candles. Yes, on the delicious cake. <laughs> another one, another one. Teacher. Pero están seguros que es on the delicious cake? 
no sería in the delicious cake porque mm. están adentro del cake o están solo encima mm. uh, yes you're right in the delicious cake uh -huh. teacher uh -huh. how could I say <laughs> there is a spiky how, how do you spell spiky you said yesterday that spiky is the is the term that you use for people that have the the hair. Oh, uh, like you... The, you wanna say the baby or the boy? The boy. There is a spiky hair boy. A spiky hair boy. Ah. Yeah. How 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 do you spell spiky? S I don't. I C. But I mean. S P I K Y spiky. Oh, thanks. Spiky. Okay. Pink. There is a pink, pink. leaf on the pizza. O sea, sobre of the pizza. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sí. Entonces sería there is a pink leaf. On the pizza. No. Hello. Hello, Carlos Enrique. Hello.
como cantando. Oh, ya vino la Miss Kevin, hay que preguntarle sobre eso. Yeah, what do you want to ask? Uh, eh, there are small toys on the floor. There are uh, pretty, para, para poner un adjetivo juguete, como decir pretty toys. Uh, About there is a boy on the table, uh, gloves. Uh, ah, the gloves. The gloves. Oh, there is a boy uh, popping, 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 popping. Yeah, popping, like P-O-P-E-E-N-G, like that in the chat, oh, I send it. Like pop is yeah. like uh, okay. explotar, como de ese tipo de explotar. Uh -huh. There is a boy popping on the table no there is a boy popping balloons on the table oh hay un niño reventando balones en la mesa en la mesa verdad mm -hmm. okay, there yeah. is a boy popping balloons on the table <coughs> balloon escribe con doble o yeah sí. doble l balloon como balloon balloon sí There is a boy popping balloon. There is a boy popping balloon on the table. There is a boy there is popping balloon on the table. Okay. Sí. Entonces está correcto. ¿A dónde? No lo veo. Es la última oración, Miss. Abajo. Popping balloons with S. Y solo lleva una O, creo yo. Balloons. Solo una O. No, I think it's two O's. Sí, solo una O. Es only one O. Creo que son dos. It's balloon, yeah, with okay. double O. Double L, double O. Okay. Oh, pero, okay. pero, está, pero se está explotando uno. <laughs> Pero yo creo que en la foto se ve que está explotando uno, pero yo creo que va a seguir, ¿verdad? Me dice a mí. Entonces sería Balloon. Balloon, sí. There is a glasses, glasses case under the pink gift. A glasses case. Ah, uh, there is a glasses, a glasses. Ah. Mm, maybe yeah. it's a glasses case. I think so. Case. A red? No. Hmm? no, I don't know if a red is a, like a brown. Mm. I think it's red. <laughs> yeah. <For> me, red. <laughs> red glasses case. Under the pink gif. Under. Yeah. Teacher, we already have 30. How many? 30. 30? Yes. Okay. And you think that oh? Okay, yes, and those? Ah, uh, I don't know. <laughs> maybe yes, maybe no. Uh, <laughs> we are not sure. Uh, the hamburgers, the cops, um, the boys, the, uh, uh, hamburger, the pictures, uh, the pictures on the wall, the uh, pasta, the man in the picture. There is a blonde, there is a brown hair man on the picture. There is a tie on the brown hair man on the picture. I don't know. I can see so many. But yeah, if you think that is enough. 
I think that is not enough, but there are a lot. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, um, I'm gonna give you just a couple minutes more if you want to practice pronunciation or if you want to make more sentences. La voy a venir a revisar, así que asegúrense que donde pueda verlas, porque aquí no puedo ver esas 30 que me dicen. Yes. I'm gonna take a picture of this and share it. Okay, después you. la voy a venir a ver, okay? Ya voy a regresar a revisarlas. Okay. I'm gonna come back and check them. Okay. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, in two minutes, in dos minutitos, I'm gonna go to the breakout rooms and check all the sentences. Asegúrense de poder compartir pantalla para que yo revise todas las oraciones y les haga las correcciones necesarias, okay? Two more minutes.
Hoy se llama Estefan, Emma. No, Ahí antes está. dijo que se llamaba. No, ¿Cómo dijo que se llamaba? Lucas, a quien enviaste este que se ha recibido fondos de mi donación. Mm. Ay, qué afortunado yo. Okay. <risa> ¿Te imagino, ¿Sabe, sabe qué, qué me va a pedir después? Que, Ajá. que le mande dinero para poder hacerme el envío. Cabal. <risa> Ay, mis... Ay, qué gente. A color, a color, a color, una bebida de color. Bueno, creo que no van a. Hello, ¿me escuchan? Yes. Ah, es verdad. Yes, yes, yes. la bebida de color. Como... Ah, eh, eh, era uh, there is a cola dream. Oh, cola dream. Cola dream. Ah, pues cola. no lo oí bien. Yes. There's a broken dish on the floor. There is a blonde woman. No, no children. Uh -huh. There is a white boy under the table. There is a brown dog. There is a purple dog on the table. There are colored balloons. Hay colors. Le quitan el colors. Ok. Pues, espérenme, ya les explico cómo. La S, la S está de más y ya se le tiene ¿verdad que para sí? Palun. Bueno, a Palun sí se la tiene que agregar, pero ah, a Colors ahí no. Ahí estábamos ahí, ahí estábamos matando el tiempo. Bueno, aquí la tengo, así la tengo. There is a blue clock next to the base. There is a base next to the clock. There is a, an old radio on the piano. There are small toys on the floor. There are singing children in the party. Eso me lo hicieron dos veces, solo que me le cambiaron. Ay, sí. Derisa, no puedo. No son de ti. Ey, no me dio el día. Ok, so how many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Ok, excelente. Uh. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Ay, la número dos también. No. Oh, Voy a tener que expandir mi vista porque no... Eh. Pero no me deja notar porque ustedes tienen... Mm, están desde un teléfono, ¿verdad? Yes. yes. Entonces no me deja notar. Bueno, pero le voy a decir si está correcto o no. There are... Yeah, I already, I already see the number two. There is a big thing. I already see the number two. <laughs> the books. Improv the books. Okay, I gift put, is space. with Tia Dien, at the uh, Tia Dien gift. I, I put a space on between F and T. And, and I think not that, between. <laughs> then I don't think there are books. I think that those are pizza boxes. Wow. Yes, maybe. There are two children in front of the table. There is a curly rare. There's a curly red hair girl wearing a green dress. Okay, excellent. There is a blonde um, child under the table. There are. Esa A con there are no va porque es un plural y me está poniendo un determinante singular. So there are yellow, green, and red balloons. Sin la A. It's a blue clock on the pink shelf. There is a child on the floor wearing a purple sweater. Yeah. Uh, there is an orange card on the floor. There is a broken white dish with red candies on the floor. There is an interesting picture on the wall. There is a piece of delicious pie on the floor. There is a bottle of delicious orange juice on the white table. There is a blonde woman wearing a pink dress and green earrings. There is a man wearing a yellow suit and stylish glasses. Excellent. There is a pink dice in front of the blonde child. There is a pulpur phone ringing on the white table. There is an old brown piano. There is a piece of white paper on the piano. Okay, next. There is a spiky hair boy next to the long potato chips on the white table. There is a white glass. There are many colorful candles in the delicious cake. There is a spiky hair boy blowing up the purple balloons. There are four red flowers in the yellow base. There are some interesting books on the pink shelves. Okay. 
There is a pink flag on the wall. There is a beautiful picture of a landscapes on the blue wall. There are some beautiful ribbons. I think ribbon yeah. with double B. Is double it? B. Oh. <laughs> Let me check. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's double B. Yeah. Okay, uh, thanks. Over, over there. <laughs> you brought it all together. It's over there. You say over there. Over the yeah. old piano, there is a red glasses case on the. There is a red. There is a red glasses case. Maybe I, it's red or brown. I don't know. Case? No, es que sí me parece, pero que glasses parece que por un plural y luego dicen there is. Pero la situación es esta. Este, está bien que lo escriban así, solo que eh, a Glasses le hubieran puesto el apóstrofe con la S para que se entendiera que estamos hablando del case. Porque entonces diríamos el eh, que es, there is a red glass case. There is a case. There is a, there is a red. Pero bueno, tengo que entenderlo en mi cabeza. Yeah, con apóstrofe. Oh, okay. There is a red glasses cake. Yeah. Pink gift. Pero en realidad muy buenas oraciones. Buen nivel de inglés. I like it. I like it a lot. Me gusta mucho. Yes. I already <laughs> corrected the, the ones that was wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you have a really good English. Yes, I like it. Me gustaron mucho las oraciones. Excellent. Good job, you guys. Thank okay, you. thanks.
Okay. Let's do this. Okay, you guys, so I went to the breakout rooms and I want to say that you did an amazing job. I saw um, vi unos, unos ahí, eh, sentences, algún grupo, no voy a decir cuál, ¿verdad? solo para que se imaginen. Si no les digo cuál, ustedes imagínense. Un grupo que me hizo 30 sentences, 30 oraciones, 30 sentences y bastante complexes, o sea, muy completas. Hasta me describían el vestido de la persona. El pastel era color tal, el vestido que tenía era todo color tal y los, los ojos y las pestañas y todo. They were describing everything, right? So that was really good. That was really good. That shows that you have a really good English level, okay? But now we're going to do something that I know you will love to do, right? We're going to do a Kahoot about oh, no. adjectives, right? About adjectives. Eh, vamos a hablar de cosas, por ejemplo, van a salir unas papas y las papas le van a decir, I am salty, uh, sour, or I don't know, salty or sour. Obviamente las papas, eh, si son fritas, van a ser salty, ¿verdad? Salty, no sour. Because it's, what is sour? ¿Qué es sour? I don't know. Sour is acid. Oh. Okay. Ahí está, para que pongan su nombre. There you have it. Ahí me están apareciendo ya en la pantalla. Ya está Max. Okay, I tengo uh, six participants. I have Marvin, Roberto, Kevin, Juan Carlos, Jose, Max. Y a mí sin Rocío, Jasmine, where is Jasmine? Sí, sí podrían mandarle al WhatsApp, no me carga aquí. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Let's see. So we're going to try the adjectives. Okay. And I'm going to start. Let's see. We are. Okay. Let's go. Vamos a empezar ya. Dice adjectives. El objeto le va a decir, yo soy tal cosa. Y ustedes tienen que decir que complementa. I am. I am bitter, calm, sour, aromatic. What do you think it is? No me parece la imagen. Me cargo la imagen. Es una muchacha así haciendo una cara de... Uh, es, uh, sour. No, pues, es la primera que le dije. Yeah, right. 
Sí, a mí también la imagen no me apareció, solo el I am. Igual. Okay. I am. Son papas fritas, galletas. ¿Sí les aparece la imagen ahora o no? Sí, sí. Okay. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay. Okay, that was better. Next. Sediento. Hmm. Se dirá segundo. Tres segundos. Two, one, two. Thirsty. Yeah, it is correct. Thirsty. Excellent. Three seconds, two, one. Funny, yeah, good job. Next. Pretty clear, está bien claro que le pasa a esta persona. Yeah, cold. Excellent, Jose Ramon. We're going up. Excellent. Wow, you're good. You're really good at this. Fancy, elegante, thick, pesado, gordo, up, terrible, angry, enojado. Fancy, yeah, it is fancy. Excellent. What? Then, find me. Hmm, what do you think it is the answer for this one? Hot, it is true, yeah. The temperature is hot. So in the first position, we have Max, Jose Ramon in second, third, Juan Carlos, fourth, Kevin, and fifth, Roberto. I am. Hmm. This is super easy. Sweet, bitter, sour, salty. This is super, super, super. Oh my God, that was fast. Que rápido. You know about candies, don't you? Candies are sweet. Yeah, they are. Still the same positions. First places, the same places. Los mismos lugares, same places. Mm -hmm. What do you think that is? You 
lluvioso. Sunny, dry, rainy, windy. Yes, it's rainy. <gasps> Kevin goes up of to third place. Kevin is on third place now. Hmm. This is easy. Excellent. Windy. With a lot of wind. Con mucho viento. Aquí por las rapidez pueden ir ganando. Miren que José Ramón y Max, they are really close. Kevin and Juan Carlos. And then we have Roberto. Everything can change. I am big, small, dry, calm. Yeah. Good job. Next. Oh, noisy, large, deaf. Deaf is como sordo, así como sordo. Excellent, comb. Same places, Max, José Ramón, Kevin, Juan Carlos, and Roberto. Let's go, let's go. Enfermo. Ill, correct. Ill means enfermo. No es strong. Strong es todo lo contrario. <laughs> strong es, es, es fuerte, right? Es todo. Next. Tall, correct. Same places. No, now Max is in the uh, first place. Jose Ramon de Juan Carlos is in third place. Kevin is in fourth place and Roberto is in fifth place. Aquí dice Jose Ramon tiene la racha de respuestas más alta con 15 puntos. Excellent. Excellent. Fuzzy, fuzzy. Same places. Me equivoqué. <laughs> okay. Heavy. Look at this. This is heavy. Okay.
far. Yes, it's far. Same places. Max, Jose Ramon, Juan Carlos, Kevin and Roberto. Oh my goodness. Same places. What is the baby? Huge, far, noisy, or quiet? Okay. Same places. <laughs> no se mueve de los mismos lugares. Same places. <laughs> Excellent, long, I'm long, like a hot dog. Same places, not surprises yet. Excellent. It is upset. Upset is a synonym to be in angry, but not in an angry way, como molesto, right? No surprises yet. It is beautiful, beautiful butterfly, butterfly, beautiful. No surprises. Excellent. It is tasty with a lot of flavor. And I think this is the last question. Yeah. Correct. We saw that adjective yesterday. It's curly. Bueno, vamos a ver la tabla de posiciones. We're going to see the positions, the places. Let's see the podium. Number three, number third place is for Juan Carlos. Second place, Jose Ramon. And the first place is for Max. And we have fourth place, Kevin, and fifth place, Roberto. Good job, you guys. You did an amazing job. Excellent. 
you did an amazing job, you guys. Yes, that was good, 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 really good. Okay, let's see how are we on this. And the zoom in. So it was extraordinary. Okay, okay. So you did a good job. Cada pregunta fue respondida correctamente por más del 65% de los jugadores. Okay, that means you know a lot about the topic. Excellent. Good job, you guys. That was amazing. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Did you like the activity? ¿Les gustó la actividad? Siempre les gustan esas actividades a ustedes. It's put the under pressure. <laughs> yeah, it puts you under pressure. Yes, I know that. I know. It puts you under pressure. That's for sure. Okay. Now, let's do something else. Because we're, we got to do the last activity for this class. Hi, in this lesson, you will learn how to describe, ask and answer questions about appearance. Let's go over the audio program. Notice the questions they use to ask for the information needed. Describing people. General appearance. What does she look like? She's tall with red hair. She's gorgeous. Does he wear glasses? Yes, and he has a beard. Age. How old is she? She's about 32. She's in her 30s. How old is he? He's in his 20s. Height. How tall is she? She's 1 meter 88. She's 6 feet 2. How tall is he? He's quite short. Hair. How long is her hair? It's medium length. What color is his hair? It's dark brown. It's light brown. He has brown hair. When you want to know how someone is physically, we use what look like. For age-related questions, we use how old. For height, we use how tall. The rest of the question will depend on who you're talking about. Okay, so estas son questions. These are questions you can use when you want to talk about physical appearance on someone or like a specific characteristics of this person. The first one is what look like. So for example, if I'm talking about a cousin, I'm going to say, what does your cousin look like, right? What does your cousin look like? Or what does your girlfriend look like? What does your teacher look like? Then to talk about the age, we are going to say how old is, and then we're going to say the subject. It can be a pronoun like he, she, okay? Or it can be how old is Carlos? How old is Maximiliano? How old is Rocio? And we can use the name of the person, okay? It's we can, a... yeah, Kevin, tell me. Uh, when we say, what she look like, uh, we are talking about physical. Appearance. But when we say more, what she like, what does she like, estamos hablando de creo que interiormente. Yeah, 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 yeah. Solamente quitamos look y hablamos yeah. creo que de interiormente o de sentimientos, algo así. Exactly. But cuando hablamos de cómo es ella, decimos mm. what she like. Y usamos el verb to be, pero cuando hablamos de physical decimos con el does. What does she look like? Muy pasado, what is she like? Ajá, what is she like? So, for example, para eso que nos está diciendo Kevin, usaríamos algo como esto. It would be like, what, wait, wait a second, wait a second. What, the verb to be, ¿verdad? Luego el subject. And then like, okay, that will be for, this is like for personality, right? This one, right, Kevin? Yeah, so this one for appearance, physically, right? And this one is for um, personality. So what does she look like? How old is she? And then for height, we're going to talk about how tall is, how tall is your mom? How tall is your dad? How tall is your friend? Now, okay, so this is the last activity, okay? 
We're going to go to the break room y vamos a hacer un short conversation. Vamos a hacer una, pre, una conversación cortita, super, super short, super short, okay? But I want you to include these questions in the conversation, okay? I want you to include these questions. For example, I have a new friend. Oh, okay. What does your friend look like? My friend uh, is uh, beautiful. Okay, how old is your friend? My friend is 27 years old. Okay, she's young. Very good. And how tall is your friend? Uh, she is short. Oh, okay. And what is she like? Oh, she's really funny. Okay, just a conversation like that using these questions. Do you understand the activity? Yes. It's a super short conversation. It won't take you long. I looked, uh, uh, it won't take you a long time. Okay, let me send you the questions. Remember, the last one is to talk about personality. Okay, there you go.
ponen hasta el apellido. Por eso, de que no, a ellos no les gusta usar el it para los perros. O sea, tenés que usarlo como un ella, como un él. Según entiende, dice, y bueno, según me dicho, lo que. ¿Ah? Para animales en general vamos a utilizar it porque no sabemos qué es, ¿verdad? Pero, pero, aquí va el pero, eh, cuando uno ya conoce el animal y es, por ejemplo, una mascota, se tiene que referir a she o he. Yeah. Oh. No. Sabemos lo que es, no ignoramos lo que es, ¿verdad? Okay. <laughs> uh, by the way, uh, uh, Robert, you have... are gonna, you're going to ask the question to Kevin. Kevin is going to start the conversation and you ask the question. Vaya, yo tengo un primo. Oh. Yes, but in English. How tall he is? What? How tall he is? It's about one meter and, and seven. Okay, ahora can see it. Hello. Marvin. Bueno, Marvin, está ahora con usted. Okay. What does your hair look your brother? Um, my brother is funny. How old he is? He is 23 years old. How tall he is? He is um medium medium tall medium height medium height medium okay. height <laughs> Excellent, you guys. Welcome to the class. So, um, welcome to the main session. I mean, so we're about to go to uh to home. Like we are finishing this this uh this class. So thank you very much for being here, and I will see you guys. I believe that they will confirm the next class for you. Okay. Your next class is the sixteenth. And the 16th, we're going to have three classes uh, in a row. 16th, 17th, and 18th. And then we finish, right? Right. Okay. Okay, teacher. Guys, see you next Thursday. Yep. See you next Thursday. Okay. Bye. Take care. Bye-bye. Okay, bye. 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 Bye-bye. Bye-bye.